cellulose, but this also works using um, the real substrates. These Miscanthus giganticus substrates are ones that they're actually being used as these, these giant energy grasses. And again, we see we can carry this through multiple rounds. The thing I'll leave you with, though, is um, this is always an amazing thing in chemistry because there's so much we don't understand. And one of the things is that we're comparing here the unmodified enzyme to the ones with our polymers attached to them. And one of the things we were happy to see, we didn't lose very much activity in this case. But notice this first green bar is much too high in this experiment. And um, sort of as we were doing this, we started to look at this more carefully. And we found that actually just the polymers themselves have the ability to enhance the, uh, the reactivity of these enzymes significantly. So in addition to now being able to recycle these enzymes using the thermal recovery, if we just simply add polymer to the enzyme reactions, we actually get a striking increase in their activity levels. And so um, here I'm showing a normal enzyme all by itself, showing that these enzymes always die after about 8 or 10 hours and you see no more activity. But if our polymers are added to the solution, we see a linear increase in depolymerization for very long periods of time. And so um, this now gives us, in addition to the recycling capability, the ability to make, I think, far more depolymerized glucose units per amount of enzyme, which we hope will help to start to lower this barrier. So we have a lot of hypotheses of how these enzymes work. We think that they both, sta uh, how these uh, polymers work. We think they both stabilize the, the proteins at interfaces. They help to maintain their structures under these harsh reaction conditions. We also have a lot of evidence that the polymers interact directly with the cellulose substrate, something we did not intend. You can see this increase in volume that you get just simply by stirring these with the polymer. We think they're serving to interdigitate in the different strands and help to separate the cellulose and make it more accessible. So overall, um, what we now have is a, a series of reactions, these oxidative couplings we can use in many different contexts to make many different materials. We can now apply these to both unnatural amino acids. We can also apply these to N-terminal functional groups. So um, it remains for me to thank a, a terrific group of